So I heard from Matt last night. Really? Anything interesting or just the same old, hey guys, I know my life seems like it's gone off the rails ever since Amy left me at the altar, but I promise, renting out my house and airbnb my way around the world with little to no human interaction or connection has been really healthy for me. That was a lot. Yeah, there's probably some unresolved stuff there. He said he's building houses for the homeless or something. Well, I hope someone's there to teach him the difference between a hammer and a screwdriver. Honestly, he sounds okay. Well, I hope you're right. All kidding aside, I really miss the guy. He said he's moving back. No, what? Oh, no, why? Dude, he's our friend. I know, and I want our friend back. I do. But if that gigantic ball of depression that took over our friend's body comes rolling back into town, I don't think I'm gonna be able to handle it. It was pretty awful before he left. Look, I get it. Amy left him at the altar, and it was awful and awkward, and the cake was delicious, but I didn't feel right eating it, you know? I know. I just hope that while he's been gone, he's taken the time to fix himself, because that bitch was broken. Well, it sounds like he has. He said he's moving back into his house after his subletters leases up in a few weeks. He said he's found a new location to reopen the gym. Ugh. What is it? Sorry, I got a text from Rachel. She made dinner plans with her stupid pregnant friend. Jack, a pregnant woman is like a delicate rose. You have to care for them from like a distance because that rose can turn into the plant from Little Shop of Horrors in like a second. Trouble with Katie? No, what? She's awesome. She doesn't yell at me while she eats all of my food and then bursts into tears while apologizing. Well, that's good, but no, Rachel's friend was a roommate in college. I hate her. Rachel can't stand her. Last time she was pregnant, all she talked about was how difficult her pregnancy was, and then it was how special her kid is, which is like, fine, love your kid, you're the parent, but still, your kid's kind of an asshole. Really? Yeah, and he has this face, like he's constantly smelling something bad while the sun's in his eyes, and that husband is such a tool. He's a successful lawyer who feels the need to constantly remind me of how successful he is or that he would have gotten us better settlement than Thrax did. Most lawyers would have. Excuse me, can I have a bottle of mustard? So speaking of being pregnant. What? Dave, just in case you're not wearing your contacts, that's not a bowl of oatmeal. That's a bowl of pickles. I know Katie got me into it. It's crazy, but like, I'm addicted. Well, you should really think about kicking this habit, and in the future, don't order until I get here. I know, I know. It's not the most traditional breakfast meal. Breakfast meal? It's not a meal, it's, it's a bowl of pickles. There's something about the first thing in the morning. That's when I really love it. It's like I wake up and I just need a pickle in my mouth. Well, at least you're putting a condiment on it. to an automatic voice message system. Theodore Titsworth. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Hey, Ted, it's Dave. I know your two-week vacation ends tomorrow, but I really need your notes for this pitch later this week. You left me a note on my desk with instructions to check the notes on your desk, but they are all notes reminding you to leave me a note. Just call me back when you have a minute. Oh, and by the way, you eat a lot of pickles. Am I supposed to feel as terrible as I feel? Call me. Oh, look at me, I'm a big shot lawyer. It makes me better than everybody in the entire universe. Well, you know what? I'm a big shot real estate man, and that makes me better than you. Stupid son of a... Hey, I just come to see you. Okay. You going somewhere? Nope, just walk up the sodium. Can I come with you? Let's ride back up together, I should go sit down. Okay. Dave, you... You don't look good. It's the pickles. Pickles? Yeah. Hey, stop eating the pickles. It's the solidarity thing with Katie. She's pregnant, so I'm pregnant. Yeah, that's not how it works. She's pregnant, so she can have that extra scoop of Rocky Road. You're not pregnant, so you just get diabetes, or in this case, a sodium overdose. But I want to let her know we're in this thing together. But you're not, and you can't, and that's okay. Just be there for her. That'll be enough. Or. It won't be, and she'll spend the rest of the pregnancy telling you that you're doing everything wrong, which she'll probably end up doing anyway, so why put out all the effort? So is that how things went with Rachel? Went, going, to be fair, I do most everything wrong. So what are you gonna come see me about? Oh, I was gonna complain about this stupid couple that's coming over tonight. Hey, maybe you and Katie wanna come, then I don't have to look at this stupid egotistical face all night. I would, but Katie and I are going to a baby class tonight. We're gonna watch some video about birth. Maybe I'll see how she's feeling afterwards. 
Now, if it's anything like the video we saw, neither are you gonna be feeling too well. Hey, you wanna go ride the elevator again? Yeah. Falling Star Realty, this is Brian speaking. Hi, Mrs. Goldsberry, how are you? There is. And uh, how long have you been hearing these voices in your wall? Oh, no, no, of course I apologize. Um, how long have you been hearing Mr. Carter's voice in, in your wall? And um, there's absolutely no way that you could just be imagining no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just merely um, suggesting, oh, you know what? Uh, Jack Sanders just walked in, and uh, he's actually the guy that you want to be talking to, so I will transfer you. Who is it? Perfect. Uh, just give me one second, Mrs. Goldsberry. Oh, I am not talking to that crazy old bag. No, no, Mrs. Goldsberry, that wasn't Jack. That was, um... You know, we have our own ghosts in the wall. No, of, of course. I didn't realize that uh, Mr. Carter was still with us. Just hold on and uh, I'll transfer you to... You know what? Why don't you just tell me more? Hey, Ted. I'm sorry to leave another message on your last day of vacation, but I can't find your work anywhere. Did you take it with you? Just please have him tomorrow. Way to drop the hammer. It's Ted. He went on a two-week vacation and didn't leave any of his notes or work for a presentation we have at the end of the week. Question. Now, I obviously don't know Ted as well as you do. I've gotten to know him a little bit more since he started working for you a couple years ago. Uh, he was very hands-on with modeling your office when you guys came to work in my building. I never could quite get him that jacuzzi that he wanted in the break room. Thank you for that. My question is, has Ted ever done anything that one could consider work? Well, Ted's not exactly employed the month, but he is a great ideas man. Really? Yeah, look at his presentation from this job a month or so ago. All his idea. Would you have thought to market a pencil this way? Impressive. Can't say I'm surprised to see a jacuzzi work its way in here. He likes to soak. Well, then I stand corrected. He apparently wasn't a pity hire after all. Oh no, he was definitely a pity hire. Now, the blood coming through the walls. Would you say that that's Mr. Carter, like, causing it with special powers? Or is he himself bleeding? Jack. Please hold my calls. Ah, hell, what the hell? Oh, hey, sorry. This place my iguana. Get out! If you see him, he'll let me know. Oh, I'll let you know. Oh, hey, Rachel called. I answered. Don't answer my phone. You don't work here. Tomato, tomato. She said to pick up a bottle of wine on the way home. Are you sure? Yes. She's pregnant. Who's pregnant? Rachel. Oh, congratulations. And the person who's coming to dinner. Oh, she's pregnant too? Yeah. Congratulations? Not mine. Belongs to her toolbox husband, I'd assume. Oh, well that makes sense. She said it was for the guy that was coming over. I was like, whoa, what's going on in that relationship? And now I know that your wife is not cheating on you and asking you to bring the guy wine. Get out. But the iguana. Get out. Hello? Hey Arthur, yes, we are still on for the end of the week. I know, I'll send you over Ted's notes as soon as I get them. I know, I know. Listen, I appreciate how much time it takes to create the visuals. And I'll get you the proposal as soon as... Uh... Yes, yes. Thanks Arthur. Ted, I don't know why I keep calling. Obviously, you're not getting my voicemail yet. Just please call me as soon as you get this, or send your stuff directly to Arthur. I know you're not great with names. I think you call him Joe. Just, okay, just call me. Okay, Mrs. Goldsberry, we will send somebody out to you right away. <laughs> no, thank you. I want a raise. Nah, uh, hey, I'm headed home to have dinner with two pregnant people and an asshole, so I'm probably gonna be hungover tomorrow. You'll be here to open up? Always am. Now that is the type of attitude that can one day earn you a raise. Yeah, I'll hold my breath. And on that day, Brian's salary plummeted to an all-time low. Enjoy your dinner, sir. Don't sir me. Good night. Okay, before 
they get to the door, I need you to listen to me. She's going to talk about being pregnant and being a mom, and I just don't want you making any faces or saying anything that's going to upset her. Why would you think I'd do that? Jack, I'm serious. So, just so we can be clear here, she's going to talk about being pregnant and having a baby and how the entire universe revolves around that tiny little bastard. And it's going to annoy you like nails on a chalkboard, but you don't want me to say anything or make any faces because you don't want her to know that it bothers you. Yes. What if I wanted to know that it bothers me? Well, then that's a want that's going to go unfulfilled. Oh, I guess I'll just tuck that in the folder called marriage. What's that? Your wants are my wants. I should've worn a suit. Why, you look nice. Because he always wears a suit like a freaking show off. He's coming from work. So am I, but I took the time to change into something more appropriate. He probably came straight here. I saw one car pull up, Rachel. Okay, shush. So good to see you. You too. Jack, long time. Steven, Stefan. Well, like you said, long time. Okay, come on in. Hey, nice shirt. Wish I had time to throw something casual on, but you know me. Work, work, work. <laughs> so I told him, Your Honor, two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts sure do. <laughs> <laughs> How's baby number two coming? Mm. Oh, well, so far, I so can't believe we got pregnant at the same time again. It's like, this is my moment. Just kidding. <laughs> Next time we will certainly factor you in. It was a coincidence. Isn't parenthood just the greatest? I mean, our son, he is so good at, I mean, everything. Just absolutely everything. Well, please, thank him for us for giving our children something to aspire to. You know, I really love it when she's pregnant. Well, it gives her something to do, like a hobby. You hear that, Rach? What do you think? Is it, is it a hobby? So, Claire, how far along are you now? Yeah. Seven months. You mean weeks. What? Huh? Uh, Jack, can you help me over at the sink, please? What could you possibly need help with over at the kitchen Jack? sink? Jack? What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Can we please just get through this meal? There is no way that that woman is seven months pregnant. She doesn't even have a bump. You're seven months pregnant and you. Careful. I'm just saying, and his story about court and the drunk driver, how is that even funny? Three lefts don't make a right. They drove through somebody's living room. Jack, Claire is one of my oldest friends and Stefan. What kind of a name is that? He's her husband. Let's just play nice and I promise I'll make it up to you. Are you bribing me with sex? No. Can you? I thought they said this is mostly a cartoon. She seems real. Mm, I think it will cut to the cartoon before. Oh my god! Oh, oh that dessert was amazing. Oh yeah, well. For bringing it. Oh, I'm stuffed. Almost makes you wish you had maternity pants on. Me. Makes me wish I had... I don't... I don't care. Hey Jack, whatever happened to that Thrax guy? I couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Probably on a beach somewhere, huh? Wish I could pull off a sweet gig like representing you guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have a question for you. You know, since you're this amazing lawyer and whatnot. What happens when your client is guilty? Like, I mean smoking gun guilty. How do you win a case like that? You know, if you can't sweet talk a judge. I just bury the evidence or pay off an eyewitness or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, you'd be surprised how far a couple Benjamins can go. That was graphic. I don't understand why. Why would they even show us that? It's natural. There's nothing natural about that. Dave, listen, it's gonna be okay. When it's time for me to do that, it will be beautiful. Uh-huh. And you don't have to watch. Oh, thank God. You saw her have a glass of wine, didn't you? I don't think she's pregnant. You know, it's not that uncommon in parts of Europe, especially. Then maybe they should move to parts of Europe. Hey. Yeah. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Of course, just not again for a long, long time. Deal. Do you think everyone enjoyed my food? 
Yes, actually, that was the only thing that pointed to her being pregnant. She devoured your food like a bunch of carnivorous palatipi. What's a palatipi? I'm talking about the plural of palatipus. That's platypus, not palatipus. Are you seriously trying to talk to me about palatipi? No, I'm really not. You know who's eating like he might not have a home-cooked meal for a while? I'm sure he was joking. Yeah, he seemed to know a lot about how to bribe a judge or pay off a witness. I, I should say something. You should not. It's my civic duty. Just because someone is a jerk doesn't mean they're actually breaking the law. Doesn't mean they're not. I sh I'll make some calls tomorrow. I'm gonna go take out my contacts. You should call, but do it from a burner phone. Yes, we have no idea how deep this thing might go. I should be completely anonymous. I'll just call with like a tip or something. Hey, maybe you should look into your attorney. Exactly. I really think you guys should stay out of this. Who asked you? You did. How can I stay out of something like this? This is practically my job. How so? We manage people's assets. Stefan is an asset to his law firm. Interesting. So basically, it's like we're doing this pro bono. I got you, babe. Nope, that is Sonny Bono. You too? That's Bono. I feel like we're getting off topic here. I saw that as a positive thing. I should report him. I really wouldn't. Who asked you? You did. Hey. Hey. So I'm thinking of calling in an anonymous tip to the authorities. About what? The dude from dinner. He's breaking the law. I just feel like they should look into him. You're like a vigilante. Pretty much. Cool. So, any word from Ted? No, he didn't come in today. He's still not answering. Is this normal for him? I mean, this week aside? Yes and no. He tends to leave his phone places, but he almost always goes back for it. Maybe he left it where he was vacationing had to fly back for it. I could see that. I guess I have to postpone the presentation. Sucks, man. Well, I gotta go enforce the law. Good luck. <laughs> I did it. You didn't. I did, and it feels like I may have ended a guy's career just because he's an ass. Hmm. I don't know why I feel so bad about this. Because he had a wife and a kid? And he had another kid on the way, right? Right, yeah, no, it's definitely not that. They are a terrible family and I hate them deeply. Oh, uh, Miss Goldberg called again? So apparently the blood is dripping from the ceiling and landing on the sofa? There's no blood, is there? No, we sent maintenance down. It is spotless. Oh, well, then it's not our problem. We are not a mental health facility. No, we're just a law firm slash detective agency. Do you like unemployment? Hey Dave. Kevin, how's it going? Uh, I got this grapevine thing going on. It's fine. I don't know. Maybe I should stick to wool instead, you know? I... I don't know. Anyway, I have some of your mail. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. It's from Ted. Who? He's a guy that works for me. I've been trying to get in touch with him all week. Huh. What is it? It's a letter from Ted. What's it say? Dave, sorry I'm not back yet. Enclosed, you'll find the answers you're looking for. Your friend, Ted. What's inside? I think, I think it's a scavenger hunt. Hello, Jack. Uh, Claire, um, what are you doing here? Uh, the police picked Stefan up for questioning. Uh, really? Wh wh why? I think that you know. I, I don't think so. Uh, tra traditionally, I, I know very little. You can ask Rachel. I think you called in a tip after last night's dinner, and I just want to thank you. Uh, thank me? Yeah, thank you. I have been living with that toolbox for so long, and I mean, he makes so much money, but you, you have done what I have never been able to do. I've always been an ethical person. Wow, it just makes me feel so good to not have to lie anymore. Well, if I can be honest, I don't really think anyone was buying it. Buying what? Claire, seven months and no bump. I mean, at least throw a pillow under there or something. I'm pregnant. Okay, come on now, it's just us girls. You can drop the act. There's no act. I was relieved to be able to speak openly about his illegal activity. You think I'm faking my pregnancy? Why, I didn't mean. Wait a minute. Rachel thinks I'm faking my pregnancy? Well, you really have to ask her. Don't ask her. Oh, I will. Thanks for your honesty. You're welcome.
Honey, um... So that was Claire. 